If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note-taking skills be improved by using capitals. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of the scientifically proven Smart Wisdom Next Generation Note-Taking and Planning Technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. And of course, as always, to make sure I stay on point uh, during our video, I've done a Smart Wisdom plan for it. So how can something as seemingly sort of tiny or insignificant as just changing from lowercase, so writing in lowercase, to writing in capitals make such a difference? And also more interestingly, how can something that simple give you a competitive edge against people who are just listening or using traditional notes, either pen and paper or by typing on a laptop? So I come from a position where I used to take lots of notes. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy doing it. It was boring. Um, but I also used to record everything because I'm highly analytical. So I always like a lot of detail. And because I re recorded everything, you know, that put me under a lot of pressure. And so I'd end up writing really fast. And the faster I got, the smaller my writing got and the less legible it got. Now, and I just couldn't read the thing. So it begs the question, why did I do it in the first place? Plus I wrote in pencil, which made it even worse because I could write really small. Then I sort of decided to sort of try and evolve the way I manage knowledge. So I'm going to switch from talking about note taking occasionally to managing knowledge because that's really what it's about. And so I'm, I made a switch from previous generation note taking, which is what we were all taught at school, 2000 year old technique. It's, it's a recording technique. And I made a switch to next generation note taking. Now that switch is actually huge. A lot of it is in the mindset and a lot of it is how you actually manage the knowledge. But the, the key thing is what you're looking to do all the time is drive up percentage RTU. What I mean by that is the percentage real-time understanding. So as you're talking to me about something complex, my understanding is 80, 80 plus percent all the time. And, uh, and so I sort of made the switch. And then one of the things I did as I was making this switch was I actually made a decision to switch from just writing lowercase to uppercase. And suddenly that transformed things even further because it meant the I improved what I call the percentage GA, so the percentage glance access, so my ability to be able to look down at an hour's worth of knowledge at a glance and have complete access to it, because it was readable, as simple as that. But there were also some more subtle effects that made a big difference in that, as I was listening to someone, by writing capitals, I was more engaged in every single piece of knowledge that I was writing down. So I was more attuned to the language they were writing, um, not writing, language they were speaking and the words they were emphasizing. And the other effect, which actually surprised me, was more subtle and more nuanced, is because I couldn't write quite as much, I became even more selective about what I did write, which increased the analysis. So I'm gonna give you an example. Here's uh, previous generation note taking. Um, I've put here there is a need to, or the knowledge uh, information I've captured here is the need to find one good approach to improve understanding and to help increase confidence. So using next generation note taking, what I'm going to do straight away is a deep filter. And here I would go need. And I'm writing in capitals, as you can see which immediately makes what I'm writing legible. So we need one good approach. Now the other advantage of writing capitals is I abbreviate all the time to increase speed and by writing capitals, it makes that abbreviation uh, less cumbersome and I can still access the knowledge really quickly uh, to help improve where we now approach to improve understanding. 
and increase confidence. Now hopefully you can see just from writing uh, in uppercase that gives me better glance access than writing in lowercase. But as I say, the other subtle thing is that it improves filtering. So for example, if I could write a lot of information, I might have actually included the word find or help. And again, here's another help there. But actually, in the totality of really understanding that knowledge, they're not necessary. Um, so I got a bit lost there, but now I'm gonna be back on track very, very soon. Here we go. Um, so why does that give me a competitive advantage over people who are listening? Well, it's really simple. A listener, and I'll use myself as an example, I'm restricted by my short-term memory. The human memory, we can hold about seven plus or minus two bits of knowledge in our, in our brain at any point in time. Using smart wisdom um, or any note-taking technique where you can have good glance access our aim is always to get one hour of information on one piece of paper or on one tablet. This will give you an advantage over note takers who are writing lowercase because again they're probably writing more than they need to and it also increases by writing capitals increases your understanding as I say and makes you more selective about the knowledge that you capture. And you'll also have a competitive advantage over people on laptops because with laptops there isn't, there isn't that extra emphasis you can place on words because you're just typing. So whether you write lowercase or uppercase makes, makes no difference because you're just typing. So you don't have that extra, extra sort of sensory approach to um, managing each piece of knowledge. And the other problem with laptops, as we all know, is limited screen size. So there's no way in a month of Sundays you're going to be able to see that amount of knowledge at a glance uh, if you're using a laptop. And this means that you're able to give better summaries. So if you're working with clients and colleagues, you know, that can make a huge difference, including other things. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you're a listener, then please start to capture knowledge externally. And if you're writing capitals, you don't have to capture a lot, but just some of the key th thoughts and ideas which then that frees up your short-term memory to listening in the moment. If you're a traditional note taker, then again, you know, please feel free to do this switch. And for laptop users, how could you apply this? I can't think of anything at the moment. Um, and also, if you if you like this uh, smart wisdom methodology, you know, please feel free to start using what I've shown you here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please cl click like and also always feel free to comment uh, in the comment section. And if you know of anyone who wants to improve performance uh, through better note taking or better knowledge management techniques, then please do share this video wildly. Wildly? Widely. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. One final thing on the sides, up at the top, down at the bottom, uh, you'll find a link to some free tips for you about managing information more effectively. Thank you.